Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and, uh, I'm gonna have to tell you right now, because I'm about to start this, but the rest of this episode, you're going, well, not the rest of it, but somewhere along the line, you're going to see a very large difference in this terrain after a cut, because I'm going to do this on two separate days. But, to get things started off, the reason why I'm doing this is, um, this is the same day as the previous episode, and I had some things I wanted to build to get them out of the way, because I had some slight issues with going through my nether portal and it being dangerous. But on that topic, we are making some advanced circuits. We're going to put those in here, make force field emitters, and let's see if I can't find them. I made four HV capacitors. And I th oh fuck! I actually need more of those, but me. I guess I really cut through my resources. But first things first, remove armor plating. I'm gonna be honest. I actually lost a bunch of things. Uh, went through my other portal, and there was a bunch of creepers and stuff. Yeah, a lot of different things were in there. So, I saved, I managed to save the chest piece, which I cranked the power up on it, and the tool. So, the only things I lost were the things that weren't relevant at the time. However, they are now, and I've replaced the shock absorber on this, although I haven't been wearing it, and I replaced all of the uh, hollow things that were in each one of them that make the armor transparent, but I am going to see I was thinking what if what would I do if I ever needed emergency power in my tool or something well I'll put that in there and as long as I stay under 25 kilograms everything will be just jelly um hello there we go so the chest piece chest piece goes up to 10 and that gives me 5 million and then I'll put another battery in the legs. These are using the HV transformers. And I'll bump it up. So there's 10, 10, 5. But of course, you know, if I'm using those things, then how am I going to get armor, right? Well, that's what the force field emitters were for. And I'll just bump these up to the highest power because it doesn't affect weight to use these. It just changes how much power it draws from the armor which isn't a whole lot in comparison to how much power I have in the gear. So, as you can see, my armor bars are now full. This thing does not charge very quickly, as you might be able to see. But, if I were to take this off and this off, I could go in here and I could go... Badunk, and it'll charge a little bit faster. That is done. Oh, that guy was already done. And I guess that guy was done because I've been standing on the plate the whole time. Oops. So, I have... I'm going to be honest, I can't read it. There we go. 12.3 million joules stored in this armor. Which is quite a bit of power. I still need to get the, uh, make one of these. Oh, that's easy enough. Whoops. I have an extra battery, actually two of them, because I made a slight mistake the other day. Not the other day, earlier today. Because, yeah, I made more than I meant to. Okay, so when I'm under the water, it'll take one kilojolt of energy to refill my air, or something like that. And I kind of want to make these things, the, but I showed you the ion thrusters last time. And you'll notice I haven't made a second chest for dusts. You ready to see why? Because I've completely obliterated my supply of things. 
it is quite literally like dead. Ah, right, the HV capacitors, and I need more force field emitters, which means I need. I don't know what these are for, but I know what they're for now. This is part of the reason why I keep on losing so much iron. Like, I have never used so much iron in my life. Now, I'm going to do my best to keep this as short as possible. Because I plan to add on to it later. As you can see, I was building servos. That was for the shock absorbers before this episode. But I want to... Here, I'll show you. Oh, not that. I actually kind of make the plasma cannon because I was in the nether and not having a ranged weapon sucks. But I need more force field emitters. Because apparently you fire force fields at people when using a plasma cannon. But that is eight ender pearls in and of itself. Wait, what? I thought I would have made all the stuff for that. Oh. Bollocks. Two of those. Well, th this is ridiculous. This is eight. I need two of these things, which means I need 64 plus two. Yeah. Um. This is going to suck. Long story short. Tell you what. I am going to cut till I have the iron smelted up and all the stuff ready, so I'll be back shortly. Okay, I lied. I'm going to actually show you my contraption that's over here. I burnt through a lot of redstone and all my remaining lava and stuff. I built another energy tesseract because I have one over there behind my machines to power them. So I got this guy here. And I've got a l the nether lava thing set up with the uh, all that stuff. This guy is full. And then there is five magmatic engines. Oh. Um. I seem to have missed one. Which is lowering my output by a little bit and also skewing some of the results. It's in this chest. Do I really need to have it completely encircle them? No. Did I do it anyhow? Yes. You know, realistically, I could have gotten 100% even distribution. Oh, great. I didn't have my tool. As prepared as always. Speaking of tools, I made a new tool. The prototype Omni Wrench. It's made with two diamonds, a gold ingot, and cyan wool. Now, this is essentially the upgrade of the Crescent Hammer, except the Crescent Hammer only works on Buildcraft compatible stuff. This works on pretty much everything. There we go. Now, that puts all of these things all running nice and well. Each one of these holds 600,000. I've got a total of five of them now. So I can hold three million. Uh, yeah, just, just three million. And this guy here is so I can turn off the lava. That should work. I hope so. And theoretically, if the lava has nowhere to go, it should not drain power, the pump that's in the nether. I hope. Otherwise, I might have to set up an alternate way to turn it off. But, this is almost done. I didn't wait for it to finish, like I said I would. And I didn't take these things out, which I'm starting to feel was a good idea. Because, I can do that. Now they're gone. Doo -doo -doo. Slightly unprepared. I'm trying to be rather quick about this too. I should have made the things in their entirety beforehand, but I didn't. Something's going on here. Okay. Machine blocks. Uh, I should probably do a quick check to make sure I don't screw this up. Okay, good, good, good. I did not... 
Oh yeah, that's what I'm making now, is the solenoids. Okay. Um, that's not how that goes. No. Oh, stop it. Act right. I might have made more wiring than I needed. I will just place those ender pearls manually later. Whoops. Ah, uh, crap. I don't really have the iron to convert into ender pearls at this moment. I mean, I can convert um, gold down if I wanted to, and I think at a pretty decent rate. But I've actually been using gold quite readily, too. Oh, God. I'm definitely going to have to do some kind of mining or something very soon. But we got two HV capacitors and two force field emitters. So, let's add yet another thing onto here. Amperage and voltage. Voltage is the amount of damage it does. Plasma damage at full charge, 20 points. At, a, at only 160 joules? That's cheaty. And as for the amperage, it changes the explosion. Um, I, however, do not need it to explode. I basically want to use it like a bow. So, in theory, this should not explode if I fire it at something. Like, it does make an explosion noise, but it doesn't actually explode. So, that is good. That works exactly as I intend. I can still use it like, you know, a standard pick or shovel or whatever. So... I just wanted to get that out of the way and get it made and whatnot. And I think what I'm going to do with these shards in the meantime, I am going to end up crafting those. Or not crafting, but making the whole things. But I'm not going to make the enchanting table. I'm going to use the anvil and keep repairing this pick. And every single time I fill it up on durability, I'll go out, mine a bunch, get it down, Kill more zombies. Yeah. That's simple. So, I'm going to do... I'll, I'll be back with you shortly, but for me, it's going to be tomorrow. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hello! And welcome back. Yes, back. New day. I almost started that off like a normal intro. But anyhow... I've done a little bit of work, as you can see. Put in a little skylight up there. I tried soul sand, and like I had messaged to on uh, commented in reply on my Steam, Steam, not Steam, uh, thingy, um, YouTube. I wanted to use for the inside of this vanilla or red power based blocks so r basalt and marble or red power blocks but I went and got some soul sand and I tried putting it up here and I got I got basically here to here and I went that's not going to work so I'm thinking I'm gonna do nether brick and I'm not gonna go the whole way up because somewhere along the line I'm going to cut straight across and then there's going to be a hole there. But, uh... What's going to happen is... This is another portal, which I've already set it up. I removed the other one. This one was a place... I'm going to... I haven't set it up yet. We're going to get to that later. Oh, and you want to see something cool? I set up a bind to change the mini-map type. I wonder if it works in full screen. <laughs> well, not full screen, but the uh, the big map. Where I can switch it, oh, playing a different game, bind doesn't work unless I click the switch in the bottom of my mouse. So there's biome listing, and the biome I'm in apparently does not have a color. Well, that's interesting. Is that? That looks like it's actually listed as swampland over there down in the bottom left, which is helpful. But here we go. This is the cave map. You can sort of see all the torches and stuff. There's a little bit of a glitch with the system, but uh, you can at least see more or less what's going on. Oh, and also that's going to be the 
park district. It's pro- I'm probably going to make that a little bit bigger in the end, but uh, that's, uh, yeah. But anyhow, if you can't see it on my bar, which I'm going to put this away just in case, even though I've tested it with the force field uh, things on the armor, the uh, the energy shields, I am pretty much invincible. I'm not even kidding. I am pretty much invincible. Not quite the level of invincible as the quantum armor. Ooh, it is that way. That's wonderful. Because the skelly spawners over there, and I put some trees up there. Those are from the autumn forest, which, oddly enough, is where that skelly spawner is. So, I want to find the stronghold. I didn't want to record the entire episode yesterday because I wanted to have a chance to look and see if anybody commented on the previous video, which I apologize for the length of that video. I didn't realize it was an hour until after I had recorded it, and I was like, screw it, putting it up. People will see the length of the episode, and, you know, they can split it into sections if they so desire by time, but uh, still that way. Seriously? Hey! Okay. What the? Oh, it's because it was in the leaf, and then it probably shot up a bit, and whatever. Uh, speaking of which, let me switch just to... Yeah, you see, I believe this is the same color as Swampland. And it says it's green Swamplands. Now, if it is technically considered Swampland by the game, that would theoretically mean that I could find slimes here and I need some slime balls because I want to build something but I need slime balls for it and go through the tree straight it that way and I think that one broke yeah that's a bit of a bother but not really a big issue um so the plasma cannon on this it flies so slowly, I don't... It, like, I tried shooting it at gas, and unless they're fairly close, it's almost a hopeless endeavor. But I have plans for a different ranged weapon in the future, but, uh... That's not something I'm going to be dealing with just at the moment. And I was gonna bring torches, and I didn't. Fuck. I'm just gonna collect a little bit of wood. we go. Those redwood logs are also, or the logs, the wood. The problem with the extra biomes wood, it's pretty much useless. Aside from building, based on, because of its color, and the other big issue is the fact that it only works in regular recipes, I believe. Because you see, if I press U, any day now, works, you know, on all the regular recipes oh wait it works on some of those things which is the factorization it can be used to make the stuff for mistcraft which is cool bookbinder I'm not sure what that's for but hmm maybe it looks like they finally fixed it in this edition of yeah yeah it can be used in pretty much everything so that's cool Oh, I bet that uses the forge uh, item API to do that. That would make sense. So here's the autumn forest. Give me that. This is the one downside to this thing. You can't break leaves faster. But uh, skeleton spawner is right down there. I want to find... What is this biome considered? Orange? What? That doesn't sound right. If I read that right, it says that this is a desert. Hmm. Holy geyser, Batman. There's more oil up there. I don't particularly care about the oil, though. Still that way. 
Uh, that didn't fly very far, so it might actually be... I I don't know if the actual horizontal distance it goes has to do with how far away a given stronghold is. I want to believe it is. And I still haven't made the ion things. Whee! Ooh. Don't mind if I do. You can never have too many resources. I thought it was possible to have too much iron, and then I killed it all making this armor. Uh, this is good enough. Still that away, huh? What? Oak sapling. Me. What the kind of crazy contraption is that? Whoa. That is appetite. That is pretty much useless to me unless I go into making tree farms. And that is destructive. You bastard lava. Why is the world loading so terribly slowly? Um this looks like a normal biome. Rainforest, huh? Hmm. Jeez, still that way? Are you serious? Oh. There better be something interesting in a rainforest. So far, I just see oak trees combined with oak trees and also oak trees. Um, that looks kind of like a swamp. Okay. That makes me curious. This is not on the color chart. I'm sorry if that was a bit of a bright green area we were in. Kind of hurt my eyes, so maybe it hurt somebody else's. And that is a bunch of random mobs. What? Slightly different directional. Did it break? I think it broke. That one definitely broke. And it definitely said to go this way. And there's definitely a mountain in the way. Um, somehow I feel as this may not be the most constructive way. Ooh, coal. I can make torches! How much coal have I mined? Thirteen. Sixteen. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I said four! Four, I say. And this may end up being another long episode by accident. If it is, and you hate those, I apologize. But I want bookshelves. Bookshelves for an enchanting table, and bookshelves because... Well, if I get books that way, I won't need a cow farm quite as quickly. I say quickly, because, yeah... So basically, I'm going to save enough books to make all of the books for an enchanting stand. Somehow I feel as though this may not have been the most effective way of doing this. But I'm going to save some of those books to make the enchanting stuff. In fact, I'll make those 15 bookshelves right away. Although I always make 16, so that way it has an even number of bookshelves on both sides. And then the rest of them are going to go straight into Mistcraft. There's zombies to my right. There's water ahead of me. We still in the rainforest? So far. Whoa! Um, I seem to have came out straight in a tree. Oh! You know, I'm going to go out here, and I'm going to throw this. And it's going to tell me to turn the hell around. This is a swampland. Turn the hell around. Oh, thank you very much for jumping down on your own. Hmm, there's only one problem. This means that somewhere between 
where I dug through the mountain and where I came out of the mountain is the stronghold. Now they spawn enough space that if I dug straight down I could probably find it. But, whoops. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I bumped the uh, multiplication on the tools up to a very large number. I maxed them out. Which the max was 25 times. 25? 24. 20, 20 something. Let's see. You know, it'd be so much better if there wasn't a hundred thousand trees here. I'm building a stairwell in the trees. Okay. Now where? That way. Are you trolling me, man? I think it might be. I'm down to 12. I brought one blaze powder with me. I estimated I was probably going to need four or five of them in order to find the stronghold, but... What? Okay. Now, I've pinpointed the stronghold to somewhere between up there and over here, so... I just heard some lava. No, this is definitely not the safest way to go down. But it is definitely the most interesting. One day I'll be able to use ladders. One day I might actually hit the stronghold. Ooh, iron. You hear that? Oh, you see that? Because I see that. And those noises are coming from my left. Oh, how's that for placement? One must be very careful when digging with this tool, because this tool likes to eat everything. Hey, dude. <laughs> oh, there we go. I do not like silver for spawners, thank you very much. Oh, lovely. Do, 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 do. Um, waypoints. Add... Stronghold. This thing is intelligent. It knows what colors I like. What the fuck is going on here? Is there anything up here? There's a chest that contains a steel helmet and some knowledge fragments. Now, ideally, I'd like to find at least one library. Preferably two. Two, if possible. And I've come to a newfound realization that I'm going to need many, many irons. Uh, an ender pearl and a iron helmet. Steel sword. What? Okay. Oh, library. Wonderful. Now, I'm going to go through the portal and try and kill the Ender Dragon with solely my plasma cannon. Which is a bit of a hopeless endeavor, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to leave the Thaumium pick there, by the way. 
I don't particularly care about it. As well as the chest. And if you can't tell, I want all the books. And apparently the planks, because they were there. Uh, my inventory's full. You know what I should invest in now that I have access to the end? Ender chests and ender pouches. I'll get to you in a second, spiders. Okay, if I ever need a spider spawner, there's one far. Well, I like collecting records. Mushroom, oak sapling, string, iron bars, stone bricks, cracked stone brick, aluminum ore. Uh, actually, I'm going to take these. You can go in there. I'll take the copper and the knowledge fragment. So, I pro- you know what? I- I'm gonna cut down every single one of these bookshelves and get all the books, and I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, so... I'd say that's a good number of books to work with. <laughs> it's definitely going to be enough to unlock a majority of the things for the, uh... Notebook. The notebook is the thing that stores all of your symbols. Basically, part of the big reason I wanted to do this is I wanted to get started on my red power quarry and ideally I want to unlock a world that has uh, basically I want the flatland single biome symbols and preferably like desert or wasteland ow dick so I'm gonna work on that I'm probably not gonna show too much of it unless I see some interesting worlds I wonder. Can I just short right click burst those things? Let even reach. Let's just machine gun it. Oh, I missed. And ah, wow! Some of those actually flew off into nowhere land. You know, I could theoretically get ender pearls off of endermen. Ha! Oh. It technically does explosion damage, which means I can't hurt the dragon. Unless I can melee it. And these things fly slow as hell. why I'm planning on making an alternate ranged weapon. It won't be a bow. Just, you know. Hey, die? Okay. Ooh, and that actually hit the dragon. Is there any more? Hey, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, see how I can't actually hurt it? Which means I don't have very many options for killing this, because I didn't bring a bow as a backup weapon. Oh, great. And it's gone. <sighs> well, this is going to be a long and extended fight, huh? Um... That doesn't seem to have done fuck all to it. Hmm. Shit. OK, 
Okay, dragon. Oh, I should have brought some string with me, but then I wouldn't have any arrows, so that wouldn't have helped. <sighs> Hell. <laughs> ah! I can hurt it with the uh, steel sword. There's hope! There's hope! This is going to be a very, very long fight with the dragon. And... Why did that steel sword not take any damage from that? Okay, so this is probably going to be the most boring dragon fight you've ever seen in your life, because it technically can't hurt me, and I can only hurt it when it comes down. So I'll come back right before I kill the dragon. Okay. The dragon most definitely has... One hit left. Come at me! And you're dead, sir. Now, if you could kindly stop being loud and just die. Whoa! What the? That is the first time I've ever had it spawn in the ground. Well done, good dragon. You seem to have done something I have never seen anything else do before. I let that exit there, and we shall retreat with our spoils of books. We, yes, yes, yes. Everybody knows the ending. I guess those are more or less useless to me now. I'm gonna need these, both of them, and I'm gonna want. Oh God. Uh. I don't want. Whoop. That's not where you go. Uh, you guys can go in there. And you can go in there. And steel helmet. You go in there along with you guys. Just leave me alone. You can go in there. And you can go in there. For some reason, the steel sword took absolutely no damage from that entire encounter. And I like Ward, but let's listen to our spoils of war. That's not a bad record so far. I'll put it in there. Look at a bunch of other random crap in there, so. As you can see, my supply of iron went up a little bit. The turtle hasn't been quite as well-behaved as I would like. If I exit the world and come back in, he stops working. If I walk too far away, you know, because he becomes unloaded, he stops working. So, there's a lot of things that cause it to cease working, and it's rather annoying. Okay, one chest for these guys, which I guess this many books wasn't necessary. Uh, you know what, we've got so many books here, I'll save these two stacks for making bookshelves at a later time. Because it used to be 96 to make all 30, and now it's like 45 or so, but meh. I might want some for decoration. Uh, the only problem is I think descriptive books require thingies, if that makes sense. Linking book. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten will do for now. We'll put you in this chest. Always take three with me. I can actually use these to go to and from the nether at a will, but I the book the books will drop on the ground if I do that, so it's not that helpful. I need because if I click U Yes, yes. Fucking quill, screw that. Isn't it what? I'm missing something here. Isn't a descriptive book book with a feather? 
descriptive book. Clicking it, it does nothing! Do I have any feathers? I highly doubt it. Mmm, delicious power. All of that drained from the legs, too. Because... It's apparently how the system works. It drains one piece of armor before the rest. Rest. Which, I guess, is quite logical, actually. But we need chickens. And I don't think we have any chickens. And for step two... I don't know what step two was. But, like I said, I'm not going to show you any of these worlds once I do make them. And I'm not sure... I thought the descriptive book was just a book plus a feather, but I don't have any feathers to test such things. And the only way I know of to get feathers is from chickens. Because, well, that doesn't do you any good right there. You can do some random stuff with a raven's feather. Well, apparently you can use it for arrows. That's handy. But I need chickens. So I'll tell you what. I'm going to go find some feathers, check back, let you know how much time we have. Uh, actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to call it good here. The dragon fight was way too unnecessarily long. And uh, you, you know what we can do? I'm going to go check and see how much is left at the other house. I didn't leave a whole lot. I left the door and a couple of random blocks, I think. I don't know about feathers. And finding some chickens is going to take some time. But... Oh, I didn't even leave the door. No feathers. There's a lot of cobble in there. I could do a lot with that cobble. Um... I might want to find chickens. I didn't check to see if there's any eggs in there, but I'm assuming if I didn't have any feathers, I didn't have any eggs. So, I guess I'm going to go on a quest for eggs, which is going to take a long period of time. So, the next time we come back, I plan for the next episode to go to the Twilight Forest, which is a bit... The Hollow Hills are a bit overpowered, but they're meant to be hard to conquer, but with this cheap-ass armor, I don't see that being a problem. Although, I'm going to see if I can't find some slime balls to do some quick crafting at the beginning of it. So, I'm going to call this good for now. I'm going to work on getting feathers and unlocking stuff from the, the descriptive books. I will keep the first book I make, the first descriptive book I make, to uh, show you what I loaded into it first. But other than that... Um, I'm going to be destroying the other ones after I make use of them, which, before I start that, I have to make this as well, a notebook, which, why does that take three feathers? That's weird. See, now I'm confused. Table? Um, mod? Here I am getting sidetracked again. Uh, Mistcraft. Blank page. I think that's just used for a background thing. Writing desk. I wonder if you have to actually make them now or something. I'm not sure. But I am going to need a writing desk because I need that for the notebook. So I need feathers. and I'm still trying to figure out why the descriptive book won't tell me how to make it. I might have to look up changes to Mistcraft or something. Hmm. Weird. What the? These things are not from this mod. Neither are those. But. Oh, check this out. I'm going to have to make this eventually. Oh, what? Okay, I think there might be an issue. I don't know if Mistcraft is partly disabled in this or what, but. Uh, writing desk. I don't know. I'm going to look into this and then I will be back with you next time but i'm gonna call this good for now 
So uh, I'll see you guys later. Have a good day.